let's go. If you are sick, bed fasting. everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike and today we are going to discuss the C8. As you know, my channel is all about Corvettes and I try and bring you guys the latest and greatest info about the C8 mid-engine Corvette anytime I can. And today is one of those days. Also, I hope you guys really enjoyed that new C8 teaser that just came out. I put that at the very beginning because we're going to discuss some things about it here in the middle of the video, but for now, I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is very, very cool, and I can't wait for the next one to come out. There should be one more right before the reveal of the actual car on the 18th. Real quick though, before we get started, I just want to let everyone know I am going to be going live tomorrow night this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we will be discussing a couple of different topics. Number one, things about the C7. And number two, things about the C8. So go ahead and make sure and leave me a comment below or you can personally email me at brinkofspeed at gmail.com and let me know what topics you would like to discuss either about the C7 or C8 or maybe both. But again, that's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I will be doing a live uh, Q&A session, basically uh, open topic discussion session. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is what the title states, the new C8 Game Changer patent that GM just came up with. This is different than all of the other aero patents that we've seen. All of the other aero patents just showed the aero functioning, however it's going to function when you're driving slow, fast, whatever. This actually does both the aero and the suspension. And the neat thing about this, if you're looking at these uh, pictures that I'm bringing up now, is it actually adjusts the ride height and it also adjusts the front lip uh, underneath according to the ride height. So there's a lot of technical lingo and I don't know if you've ever read any of this engineer wording, but they kind of repeat themselves over and over again, it seems like, and say the same thing multiple different ways. But basically what I'm getting out of it is that whichever model this active arrow and active ride height is going to be on is gonna be pretty special. It's probably going to be the ZR1, Z06, or Zora, or maybe all three or just a couple of them that have this on it, but it's pretty interesting stuff. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys is this really neat video that Chaz Cron did rendering the engine in the new C8. It looks pretty awesome. And just looking at the position that the engine is in, you can tell that there isn't going to be much room between the rear of the engine and the rear of the car. So it's going to take up quite a bit of space back there, but I really think it's neat how Chaz Cron did this. He is excellent at doing these renders and putting them into motion now. Okay, so moving right along, uh, we're going to stick with Chaz Cron. He has done an excellent job of doing an interior rendering of the C8 mid-engine Corvette. 
And so I wanted to show you guys this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, he did an absolutely fantastic job. And I just want to uh, show you guys and see what you think. And I'd love to hear your comments below of if you think this is what it's gonna look like or if you think it's gonna you know, be a little bit different than this. You guys just let me know. He also did a separate rendering of the steering wheel all by itself. And uh, I gotta say, I do like the squared off wheel. I don't know about the rest of it, if I'm gonna uh, like it or not. It is very similar to the uh, wheel that we have now in the C7, as far as the rest of it goes. But obviously, uh, we only have a square bottom, not top also. But I think if they do it a little bit thicker uh, where your hands go uh, with the bolsters up top and then kind of thicken up the rest of the wheel, it might look pretty darn good. And then give us a few more switches and buttons on that wheel that'll really make it look uh, pretty cool. Here's another render uh, with the wheel actually turned. Uh, Chaz Kron, again, he just does an excellent, excellent job on these things. And so if I go to the next one, you will see that the wheel turns back. Uh, if I go back to the one before, you can see it turns back the other way. So pretty neat job by Chaz Kron to come up with a couple of different renders there of the interior where the wheel actually turns. Here's another rendering that just surfaced uh, on Instagram a couple of days ago that I think this rendering is excellent. It's not very clear because this is off of a video um, that I just took a screenshot of, but I just wanted to see what you guys thought about this. If you like it or if you think uh, Chaz Crons are better or uh, you know what you guys think about this rendering. Now, besides the fact that the second teaser video showed uh, a bunch of the old uh, mid-engine concept cars and then obviously it showed a bunch of the Corvette race cars and actually if you look up at the top right there is an i-card that's just popped up that has a video that talks about every single one of those race cars and every single one of those concept mid-engine Corvette cars in this video so if you want to learn all about the cars that are in the teaser video click on the video in the top right corner and you'll be able to learn everything about those the number one thing that i want to talk about is the side scoop on the actual c8 that we see in the video when you slow the video down and you take a screenshot of it as you can see here in this picture that side scoop is completely different than the way that it's been shown in renders and in uh, many, many videos that you've seen of test mules out on the road, on the track, wherever. So this side scoop is turning out to look a lot more like a Lamborghini uh, giant side scoop or uh, you know, like a McLaren, but it definitely does not look anything like what we've been seeing. So that was the number one thing that I wanted to point out from the actual teaser video. Now these shots were just taken recently and I wanted to correlate these along with the uh, picture that I just showed you because these are recent pictures taken of the C8 and if you look closely especially on this one you can definitely tell that it does not have the same side scoop air intake shape that the rest of the c8 mules that we've been seeing have it's further back it doesn't come up on the door and so uh, again this tells us that all the pictures and renders that we've seen for the longest time with the side scoop coming up on the door were all fake so guys that's really gonna do it for now i hope each and every one of you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something if you loved it give me a big thumbs up if you have not joined the brink of speed community make sure you smash that red subscribe and bell notification 
so that you're notified when my new content comes out. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you hopefully tomorrow live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube.